compound movement. Exercises like squats, deadlifts, and lunges engage multiple leg muscles simultaneously, leading to greater muscle activation and overall strength gains. Next question is from Joel Muitari. Is the sissy squat bad for the knees? I hope not. We've yeah. programmed it a bunch of times. I know. <laughs> you know, when, when, I, when I first started yeah, became a be trainer, um, I used to think there were a lot of exercises that were just bad. Oh, if, like, I, saw one, if I saw somebody do a sissy squat now, or I mean back then, I would have freaked out as totally. a trainer. I, I, I totally. Thought, as a new I, trainer? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I thought behind the neck presses, don't, no, never do them. You know, behind the neck pull downs, never do them. Don't go all the way down with a dip or with a bench press or whatever. Uh, because it's bad uh, for your joints. Here's the truth, and I'm going to make a blanket statement that's completely true. Any movement, any movement, any exercise is safe so long as you have the strength, mobility, and stability to perform it. Mm -hmm. Any movement, the craziest movement you can think of, as long as the person performing it has the strength, stability, and mobility to do it, that movement is safe. Yep. That's the key. So is a sissy squat bad for the knees? Depends on who we're talking about. Yeah. If, if you're strong, stable, you've got good technique, good mobility, good form, uh, no, it's not bad for the knees. It's great for the knees. Yeah. It's a great exercise. You have the capability. The That's really what matters. I mean, the same argument for like a Jefferson curl. Like it's, yes. it, Somebody will see that and immediately think like, oh my God, they're going to destroy their lower back and why would you ever do this? Well, obviously it's not for you. Like this is something that's a very advanced technique, you know, for uh, you know, gymnasts and whatnot, but there's always a case you could actually make for a certain type of a movement. It's just the, the amount of load they're using or, you know, the control, the strength they have to perform it uh, safely and properly, that's what you have to evaluate. No, yes. there's no such thing as a bad exercise. There are exercises that are performed bad, but mm -hmm. there's no, no such thing as, as a bad exercise and it's a routine or lift, right? I mean, yeah. you can do, in, like your point, if you have control, you're stable, you can do anything. And that's also why I tell trainers, to ca I caution trainers to not judge when they see somebody else doing something because you have no idea what the application is for that. Yeah. You have no idea what that client's goal is. And if they're performing it with good technique and form, you may think it's a stupid exercise for your goals and what you're trying to achieve, but you have no idea what that person's trying to do. Right. Now, to be fair, uh, some exercises have way higher risk uh, to reward ratio. Right. Um, for example, Olympic lifts. Uh, Olympic lifts are far riskier. That doesn't mean they're bad. It just means you need to have really, really good technique and really, really good form and good control in order to perform them in ways that uh, don't injure you. Mm -hmm. um, so all exercises have this, right? Like a, like a dumbbell curl, very low risk uh, compared to a barbell squat, which might have a lot uh, more of a risk. So sissy squats is one of those. Sissy squats is, I would say, you know, if you, it's probably in the middle of, in terms of risk uh, for the average person. But if you're strong enough to do it, you do it right. You've got good mobility. It feels right to you. you you've got good form. It is a phenomenal exercise. And if I compare a sissy squat to a leg extension, mm -hmm. both people having, like I said, those prerequisites, right? Good technique, good stability, good control, good mobility. The sissy squat is superior. It's just more functional. It activates the muscles, in my opinion, in a better way. Um, I, I've never, I still, I, I don't do leg extensions ever again. Ever since I did sissy squats and I did them right, yeah. I was like, did leg you? Extensions did are you do a good uh, YouTube video on this? We did. We have right. Yes, yes. Yeah. So uh, Jackie will link that in the show notes. T to me, this is just one of those things that, like, um, I didn't know how to do a sissy squat. Like I know I never had somebody teach me. Like, and if I saw somebody doing it, I'd be like, that's absurd exercise. Oh, it's Why very would... rare you're even gonna see it. Yeah, it is. It's very rare you're gonna see it. And then if you just see see it for the first time and think that you're gonna be able to go do it and with proper form, you're gonna want to be taught. So you either want to have a coach, I think, that teach you or a trainer teach you, or watch like a tutorial that we've done on it where you explain the details because how you do it matters. Mm -hmm. If you just if you see someone just get on their tippy toes and rock their knees forward and then try right. and come back and you don't understand how to how to move i think it could be a really challenging exercise and not ideal for a lot of people especially if you're somebody who has very limited ankle mobility that's a really tough exercise to perform correctly but man if you do that i mean it, it i eliminated leg extensions yeah, I've, i haven't done a leg extension since i learned how to do a sissy squat yep. properly because i just i feel way more in my quads doing oh way way more functional 